Hi everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you one option for customizing a, a graded quiz result slide in Articulate Storyline. Now at, at the moment here I've got a, a standard I guess uh, quiz result slide that was uh, entered into a, a project um, that just has your score, the passing score, uh, a retry button and usually by default with these these quizzing slides depending upon how you've set up uh, your pass mark you'll also get a a success or and a fail layer a pass and fail layer and, and they will be displayed based on the number of points the user scores in their quiz the quiz results slide also contains a few triggers so when to show the different layers and then if you have a retry button uh, enabled on your slide when you use that button to reset the quiz, you, there's some triggers there to, to take you back to the quiz and, and do the quiz again. So I've also done a, a second little demo where I've created a little uh, five question quiz and I've put a result slide in at the end. And when you look at this particular result slide, it's there's actually nothing on the on the base, um, unlike the, the other, the standard quiz result slide, it's just plain. And rather than um, just have pass or fail layer, I've actually created a separate layer for every, I guess, option that the, that the user could score. So they, in this five question quiz, with every question worth 10 points, they could get 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And so I've actually deleted the standard uh, success and fail layers and replaced it with my own layers. And on each of these layers, I created a little video where I said something different depending upon the score that the user uh, scored in, in the quiz. And I set my pass mark at 80% so that uh, by the time they scored 40 points, they've actually passed the quiz. So the 40 and 50 point layers, um, they, they say something different and the, and the user does have the option to exit as opposed to the other layers whereby they would probably need to go and retry the quiz again in order to pass it. Now, what I've done is um, the the normal uh, user score, passing score, and percentages that are on the base, I actually moved those uh, onto each of the, the layers um, so that those variables will be displayed. So those variables are created automatically when you insert the results slide, so I've just replicated them on each of the layers. And to have each of those layers show, what I've done in the, the trigger panel, and I'll just pop it out for a second, is I've just used the variable that's already created and had the variable show different layers. So if the user scored zero points in the quiz, um, I've just used the results score points variable, show the, that zero layer if that point variable is equal to zero. And then for the 10 point layer, the same sort of thing, show that particular layer if the result score points is equal to 10. So I didn't have to create any new variables, I actually just used the variables that existed already to have it show some different layers. Then on the layers where the user didn't score enough to pass, so the 10, the 0, 10, 20 and 30 layers, I've just on those particular slides um, put the retry, retry button on each of them and I've also, so it will jump back to the start of the quiz and it will also reset the results back to zero. So no matter what they score, if it's less than the pass mark, they will be able to still jump back and, and retake the quiz again. Now I've used a video, like I said, on each of the layers just for something different. You could have different images or, or some different text or something like that on each of the layers, but rather than just showing a, a pass or a fail layer. We've got a, an individualized custom layer for every point result. Now, if it was a bigger quiz, you may uh, group them together and, and maybe not have necessarily one for every every value, you could. Um, so I guess it just goes to show that you can you can have uh, you can customize the results slide and the layers, and then still uh, use the variables that are created already to create a completely different uh, look and feel and a, and a different operation for your graded quiz results slide. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you next time.